I've been wanting to expand my skill set beyond wood turning. So what better way to do that than to start with a small but practical project that I can use around the house. So I've been using this bowl that I use to store diffuser oils in. What I'm looking to do is make a small box with a sliding lid to store them in. No fancy joinery to start with, just simple mitered corners. I still want to do a bunch of wood turning projects, but you'll start to see more different types of projects on the channel. So let's get into this. I'm changing out my combination uh, blade to use a ripping blade. It's supposed to give you better cuts, uh, but this is honestly my first time using it. So I'm shooting for a four and a half square by nine inch long box. So I'm just going to cut this in half and that'll give me the pieces. Then I'm going to mark it and then I'm going to resaw it on the bandsaw and that'll give me all the parts that I need. All right, so now I want to mark this up and um, let's see, I'm going to make this, since there's not a lot going on here with the texture, I'm going to make this the, uh, the short and long and then that's going to be long and that's going to be short and it's going to be somewhere, you know, roughly in here, you know, that's going to be, you know, the sides and this is going to be front and the back. Um, and the way that you do it with the book match kind of together like this is if you do it the shorts and the longs like that when you go to cut it and flip it around it'll give you a continuous um, look. All right, because I always get myself confused when I'm cutting miters. I'm just going to get me a little cheat line because I know that one's got to go that way. And that one's going to go that way. So I'll probably do this over again. I won't bore you with the rest, but at least that's just how I try to keep track of the miters. Again, with more practice, I'd get better at that, but that's how I do it. This method of cutting the miters uh, just, you know, it just wasn't good for me. Uh, I have since seen another video where uh, a guy used a sled that's just for making miter connections. And being that I'm going to make some more boxes in the future, I think I may just uh, throw that together and try that. So you know, look for that for, uh, you know, in, in an upcoming video.
I've seen others use this method of uh, making boxes by using this painter's tape. And I gotta say, it worked out great. Uh, I still ended up using a, um, a clamp, as you'll see here in a minute. But this was great for putting the box together and just uh, helped with the glue up. Separating the top from one of the ends, um, and you'll see this will make more sense in a minute, but I wanted the thinnest curve possible, so I'm using just a, a flush trim uh, Japanese pull saw, and that's going to be the handle that I use um, to take the, uh, the sliding part in and out. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm using referential measurements and just sneaking up on the connection. And that's what you see me doing here. I cut it and then I just trim a little bit and try it until I get the perfect fit. I'm sanding the inside pieces so that it's a lot easier to sand now versus when the box is assembled. I'm taping the inside corners to, to help with glue squeeze out in case it's really hard to get down into there uh, because it is a smaller box uh, to be able to get the, the glue out and clean it up. Uh, just pull the tape off and the glue goes with it. So it's been drying overnight. We're gonna to get to this in a second, but I got a couple of, uh, got a few things in the post. Um, so I got one from Spain, a sticker um, from Alvaro, um, Liberty60. I, he's on Instagram. I'll put everybody's information down below. Uh, thank you for the sticker. I hope I'm saying your name correct. And then Benoit from uh, Canada uh, at Schloid Spoon. Uh, I'll get any contact information for you. And then uh, Billy over at Newton Makes uh, sent me a sticker. Uh, everybody should have stickers. If I did miss you, uh, drop me an email and let me know. I'll get these stick up, uh, stuck up on the board and then we'll get back to the project. Alrighty, so to attach the, uh, the handle uh, to the, uh, the lid here, we're gonna use a little bit of Starbond um, Thick and some activator. Um, when we put this on here, we're only going to apply um, the glue and the activator to the top part and the mating surface. Don't want it to get stuck down in there, but I think it'll be okay. Check down in the description for a, uh, a coupon code to use um, to get you some uh, a discount off of this. So first thing we're gonna do is we spray our activator there. And then we're just going to apply it Here's another trick I picked up uh, from others. Um, my, some of my miter joints weren't so perfect, so a little bit of glue and um, sawdust just filled in those cracks and you can't even see them now.
So you only see me putting on one coat of Danish oil, but off camera I did apply a second coat and allowed 15 minutes in between uh, the two applications. And at the end, I just buffed off the excess and it was done. I'm very happy with how this turned out and I'll definitely be making more in the future. I hope you enjoyed this too. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up, comment, and share as all those things help me and the channel out. If this was your first time, go check out some of my other videos. If you like what you see, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.